Welcome back to In the Can. We're going to be talking about the film Salvation Boulevard. Director George Ratliff is here, as well as just uh, two of this great cast, amazing cast here, and we get to talk with two of the actors, Isabel Furman and Yul Vasquez. Thank you both for coming in, thank and you. thank you thank for coming in. Thanks. We're just chatting about how it's kind of a whirlwind here at Sundance and all these different events, but thanks all three of you for making it. Thanks very much. So uh, the film screened last night for the first time. And it sounds like I read some reviews about how it went, and people seemed to get the film, laughed at all the right places. Yeah, it was a great response. It was really, it was so fun finally seeing it with an audience up on screen, uh -huh. looking right and sounding right, and it was, it was excellent. We and wonderful. were both of you there? Yes. To see yeah, it? Yeah. Had you seen the film in, in its entirety before last night? I had not seen it. Um, I, uh, I'd seen, I'd seen, you know, bits of it, but to see it all sort of. <laughs> Strung together was pretty incredible. I think it played. I, I, I've never, I can't remember the last time I saw a screening where the audience ate a film like, like, like it was, you know, ice cream. It was my <laughs> first time seeing it, and I, like ice cream. I mean, I swear everyone was laughing at all the right places, and I was laughing. I didn't want to take a sip of my water because I was afraid I was going to spit it out at the person in front of me <laughs> because I was laughing so hard. And um, I'd only seen like two scenes before, so it was really like a big, great surprise. It was like, um, Waking up on Christmas morning, you know. Merry Christmas! Here's your gift. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's a pretty good Christmas gift, I would say. Yeah. Very well, good I was Christmas asking, gift. I was asking George <clears throat> if it's kind of nerve-wracking, and I would imagine, from an actor's standpoint, I would feel very. I mean, I'm not an actor or an actress, so I don't know how it would feel to even see myself on the screen. But to see myself on the screen for the first time in this film with an audience, I would think would be a very it's vulnerable experience. It, it always is. You, it's always like a white knuckle experience. Uh -huh. I, I've, I've oftentimes been medicated through, through some screenings, <laughs> just just kind of to get through it. He's publicly admitting that. Well, yeah, no, uh, yes, openly. But the, the interesting thing about watching a film that you're in is that they, when you watch yourself, you're the only one in the audience that has that perspective. Mm. So you're you're watching yourself from from a place that nobody else could possibly mm -hmm. watch yourself from. Well, and worse, I mean, I can't even hear, stand to hear my voice on a, a voice message you know yeah. I mean I can't imagine seeing think, myself yeah. on yeah. The screen like just display to everyone so it's it's very tricky yeah. showing the actors but I, I fed Yule pieces because we had to do things and unfortunately the first time actors see themselves on screen a lot of time is when they come in for ADR and that's mm -hmm. before yeah. like this it's like yeah. fixing sound and it's really traumatizing for them so it's, it's great to hold out to, for them to see it Finished, well, you when, know, when you yeah. first uh, see little bits of it, you're kind of just, at first it's kind of weird because you're like, oh, that's me. And then after, when I saw it, I was kind of like, because I'd already seen <laughs> the scenes that I was in for ADR. Yeah. And so um, when I saw the actual finished film, it was kind of just like I was watching a regular movie, sitting around with all these people. <laughs> just enjoying a night at the movies. A bunch of people in my living room, right. you know? Yeah. Well, we're, we're talking a lot about the film, but let's actually tell the story. Tell us sure. about what this film's about. Well, Salvation Boulevard, it's a, uh, it's a very funny movie, but mm -hmm. it actually has a thriller plot line, and a lot of the humor <coughs> comes from these amazing characters because it's set in and around a, a megachurch. And I mean, I come from that world, and uh, people are definitely afraid to make movies sort of in that world because, you know, they can offend people or it's you know, or something like that, but it's um, it's full of chock full of these great, wonderful comic characters that that are so fervent in their belief. And if you throw a couple together in a room, like uh, an ex born again ex deadhead and a played by Greg Kinnear and a mega pastor played by Pierce Brosnan, yeah. it's How wonderful. Can you go wrong? Th wonderful things happen. You know. How can you turn down a thriller set in a mega church? That's too good to be true, right? As Greg said, never read that one before. Yeah, right. Right, yeah. It's quite a unique story, that's for sure. Do we have a clip um, of this film? No, we do not have a, do have a clip. I don't think we have a no, clip. you don't. Um, so they're just going to have to go see the film. And they'll have to see the movie. That's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Um, so let's talk about this cast that you've, you, you just kind of mentioned, uh, Pierce yes. Brosnan's in the film, but you've got an amazing lineup. Well, aside from these uh, two, yes. lovely, we have uh, Pierce Brosnan, Greg Kinnear, and then Ed Harris plays, you know, a sort of uh, atheist professor that, you know, is the nemesis of Pastor Dan Day. Um, Jennifer Connelly plays Greg Kinnear's ex-deadhead's, uh, his wife, who's a very intense 
uh, churchy wife. Uh, Marissa Tomei plays in Grateful Dead had <laughs> uh, college she's security chuckling. guard. She's, she's adorable in it. Yeah, she's, she's adorable. Yeah. She's pretty adorable. Yeah, she and, is. And Jim Gaffigan plays uh, the, sort of the church AV guy <laughs> that's Dan's sort of number one guy. It's very funny cast. Just from the energy you guys have, I bet this was hysterical being on the set. What was that experience like <laughs> making the film? There was always something. Always you something like to a pretty about. loose kind of guy. So Do I? Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was it was a really Late fun back. shoot. I mean, it was it was it was always a good time. It was very intense. We shot the movie in 26 days, which is really really a tough time yeah, schedule. Yeah, that's a very short timeline. Um, you know, uh, uh, Yule plays Jorge Vasquez, which is a whole storyline I can't even talk about because <laughs> it's uh, Jorge Guzman de Vaca. Excuse me, but uh, uh, and you know, I mean, we shot. All of that in a couple of days, and it was, and it was, and if the the amazing efficiency and uh, uh, ability that Yule and Greg had to do all these scenes and well, those so, couple of days know, were amazing. There was no, you know, we had to do it. So yeah, there was you, no you choice. Just, you you kind of show up when when you're when you're forced into a certain thing. Mm -hmm. you, you have to show up. You rise to the occasion. Yeah, I mean, you have no choice. It's you know, mm -hmm. and and in this thing, it's like, you know, you have to just get in there and do it. There's no, hey, let's warm up. Yeah. I mean, it's like, no. <laughs> well, independent <laughs> film, I mean, you know, you've got budget constraints, time constraints, all of those things. And I've heard from many directors in doing this show that some of those constraints really allow people to bring their best performances Absolutely. at the very first take. Well, and also, you know, rehearsal is very important and pre preparing is very I mean, when you have that little time, you, you have to spend all the time beforehand so you know exactly kind of what you're doing. When you have an exact idea of what you're doing, it actually allows you to sort of go off book a little bit because everything else is so mm -hmm. set, you know, already. So, I mean, it was it was great. And the, the, the things, my favorite pieces are the little improvs that we found or the ideas that, you know, a lot of the actors had, you know, on the spot. It was That's wonderful. nice when there's a collaboration yeah. and it's everyone contributing. And with that talent of cast, I'm a, you know. Oh my God, yeah. It, yeah. it works. So, uh, when is it gonna screen next? Is it Wednesday evening okay. at the Eccles. Wednesday at the Eccles. Are you all staying in town and enjoying the festival for a few days? Um, yes, I'm, I'm actually going to go mining. You're going to uh, go yeah, mining? No, I'm kidding. Uh, I thought I'd do some prospecting. While I was, <laughs> I was going to say, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a tour company now offering no. that. No, everybody's asking me if I'm going to ski, and I, I grew up in Florida, so no. No, the um, answer's no to that. So uh, He's going home with a pocket full of copper. Yeah. Well, well, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. We <laughs> offer a little bit more than mining here in Park City, so hopefully no, no, you'll no, enjoy no. a few more things. No, no, I'm a, no, yeah, I'm actually, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. I have, I have, I'm going to hang out with George. And, and just laugh at, at this great comedy, because I know a lot, of, a lot of the audience members are, and a lot of people are talking about this film. When I was doing some research, it's popping up everywhere. So congratulations, sure. and thank you all for coming in. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Enjoy the festival. We'll be back with more in the can right after this, so stay with us.